Hey guys, welcome back. Today what I wanna do is help you find a esthetician approved skincare routine for under 40 bucks. Many of you know I am an esthetician and I know that really great skincare can be really expensive. So what I wanted to do was a Walmart haul of affordable skincare. However, this has been done before, but none of these videos on YouTube explain why these products are good, nor do they recommend the products based on the ingredients. What I'm going to do is give you a breakdown of basic aesthetics and skincare and explain what kind of ingredients you want to look for. So we're going to make our choices at Walmart based on science and aesthetic principles. I have watched several videos on Walmart hauls for skincare, for affordable skincare, for skincare products people swear by. Why do they swear by those items? Let's break down the ingredients and figure out what's good for us, what is and good for us and make educated choices so we are actually spending our money on something that is going to benefit our skin let's hop into that I'm gonna break some things down for you then we're gonna hop over to Walmart and see what we can find okay. so the first thing I want to explain about skincare products is that they have two type of ingredients one is a functional ingredient and one is a performance ingredient so what's the difference a functional ingredient makes up a majority of the product so it's what allows the product to spread it's what gives its body and its texture Functional ingredients do not change the appearance of the skin, but they are necessary to the product formulation. Meaning without these ingredients, the product won't have the same viscosity that we want it to. There are different types of functional ingredients. Like at this basic lesson are not important, but for example, we have like an emollient, which is something that helps lubricate and moisturize the skin. Be more like your fatty oils, any kind of like lotion feel. We have surfactants, which is something that helps spread across the skin. So that's gonna be like a cleanser or a detergent, like your soapy ingredient. We need to be very careful about the functional ingredients that we're allowing into our products and that none of them clog your pores. A fancy, fancy aesthetics word for a product that clogs your pores is called comedogenic. Functional ingredients aren't bad things. They don't give your skin any positive benefit. They can have negative effects if you choose ingredients that are comedogenic. For example, coconut oil. This is something that clogs your pores. When people say, oh, I, I moisturize my body with coconut oil. I'm like, you do? Because while it might make your skin feel moisturized, you've actually just clogged your pores and you were actually setting yourself back. So we're just going to make sure that when we're looking through our ingredients, that we're not finding anything that's highly comedogenic in our product. We're gonna use those as vetoes for any product that we pick up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look for are performance ingredients. Well, I usually refer to them as active ingredients. These are ingredients that are actually going to change the appearance of your skin. So in other words, they chemically cause physiological changes in your skin. So these are products that actually have benefits to your skin that will help you see noticeable changes, positive changes in your skin. So it's gonna be really, really important that we find active ingredients in everything that we pick. If we are picking a product that has no active ingredients, then what are we doing? An example of a performance ingredient would be like an antioxidant, like vitamin C, which is something that's gonna help produce collagen in your skin. Other performance ingredients would be like a chemical exfoliant, which is a type of acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid these are going to be chemical ingredients that actually take off a layer of the dead skin you know okay that being said when we go to Walmart what we're gonna look for is a cleanser an exfoliant a toner a moisturizer and a sunscreen cleansers are designed to dissolve your makeup oil and dirt from your skin clean out your pores and prep your skin for the other products that you're going to use in your skincare routine step number two is going to be our exfoliant now this is a step i think that people usually skip which is actually the most important step that you could possibly take when doing a skincare routine. It's going to smooth the texture of your skin. It helps stimulate the blood flow in your face. It helps your skin's ability to retain moisture. And it actually improves the cell turnover rate on your face, which means new cells are coming to the surface faster on your skin, and you're getting new and younger skin faster and quicker all the time. Last but not least, it really just improves the overall brightness. So you have a dull looking face. Get off the dead skin. Use an exfoliant, hello. Next, we're going to look 
look for a toner, which I think a lot of people think that toner is just like rose water or rich hazel. It's not. A toner is to help remove any of the cleansers that you've left on your skin. It's also going to restore the pH balance to your skin after all the washing that you've just done. And it's going to help close your pores. Moisturizer is obvious where it hydrates the skin, but there are some other benefits to moisturizers. Number one, it protects the skin. The performance ingredients are going to nourish the skin. It's also going to balance the oil water content of our skin. It's going to give us with a healthy glow and really balance what's going on on the surface of our skin so we don't look oily and we don't look dry. Last but not least is the sunscreen. And I don't think that I could stress enough how important sunscreen is, but you have to protect your face from UV rays. The sun causes skin cancer, brown spots, aging. There is no faster ager, me besides like smoking, than the sun. If you want a good preventative measure for aging, it is sunscreen. It is so important that you do not skip this step. To sum it up, we're gonna find a cleanser, we're gonna find an exfoliant, we're gonna find a toner, we're gonna find a moisturizer, and we're gonna find a sunscreen. And in these five products, we're going to find functional ingredients that are non-comedogenic and active performance ingredients that will actually cause benefits and yield results to our skin. So using that information, let's go to Walmart and see what we can find. Walmart. We're gonna find the blue I'm section. Out of reason. Set up the face. I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired. We're gonna start with a cleanser. See what we can find. I'm gonna just start picking up a few, reading through the ingredients, and seeing what might work. always packed full of people so that was mild torture we're gonna start with the cleanser that I got so I end up going with the Walmart brand equate beauty deep cleaning facial cleanser okay so we actually have less than 10 about 10 ingredients in the back here okay I'm gonna go through the first 10 ingredients and briefly explain what they are and explain why they're okay and why I chose this product. First ingredient is water, no harm there. Functional ingredient. Second ingredient is sodium C1416, which is actually a surfactant, which is what helps it foam. Functional ingredient, non-comedogenic. Cocamidal propyl betaine, which is actually derived from coconut. It is not coconut oil, but it is derived from coconut, but it's also a surfactant and helps with a foamy effect. And the next ingredient is a PEG80 sorbitin laurate, which is another type of cleanser. It's just going to emulsify and help foam it up. So another functional ingredient. Salicylic acid. That is your first performance ingredient and that is more than we could ask for. Salicylic acid is an active ingredient and a chemical exfoliant that's going to help get away the dead skin. It's gonna help with acne prone skin and it's, it's just going to help remove the dead skin from the surface of your face also while cleansing, which is amazing. C12 slash 15, that's an emollient. So that's actually just going to give it it's like thick texture. You guys, this is $3.64 and it is a perfectly acceptable gel cleanser with an active ingredient. 
from Walmart. No excuses. I can't wait to try it. Next, we're gonna go into the exfoliant. I was pretty impressed by what I found. Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. Okay. So I think this was this was $6.22. Go through the ingredients briefly. Water, no problem. Second one is sodium C1416. That was in the other one. That is a surfactant, which is something that's gonna help with the foaming. Next we have glycerin. First performance ingredient. This is a hydrator. Yay, yay for us. Cocomita propyl betaine. That was again something that's going to help foam. The only minor setback that I found in this product is the Acrylate's copolymer. A copolymer is a plastic. It's going to be what the exfoliating beads are in here because there are so many performance ingredients here. And also these copolymers are non-comedogenic so it's not going to do any damage to your skin. They're just unnecessary. Then we have glycolic acid. That is a performance ingredient, and that is a chemical exfoliant which is going to help getting off that dead skin, smooth your skin surface, reduce aging, just it's gonna give all those benefits of the exfoliant. That is what we want in here. Salicylic acid, amazing. Another type of chemical exfoliant. Active ingredient, it's going to work wonders for your skin. This is like, there's already three performance ingredients in here for $6.22, are you kidding me? Glycol distinct. That's when it's just gonna give it like a pearlescent kind of look. No harm done, non-comedogenic, functional ingredient. You guys, this is great. You should be really excited because this is available at any drugstore and it has performance ingredients. Don't tell me that you can't find affordable skincare because you're wrong. I just found some, okay? Yeah. The toner that I went with was a copy of the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. And I got again the Walmart Equate. Can you see it? The Walmart Equate brand of alcohol-free toner. There are less than 10 ingredients in here, which is great. The first is water, duh. Um, we have butylene glycol, which restores moisture. PGEA, oh, that, that is a performance degree. It's a humectant, which is a glycerin, which is a hydrator. Ah, you guys, how much was this? $3.94. Walmart, you are, girl, I'm impressed. You guys, look at this little guy. Uh, okay, next ingredient, sorry, geeking. Polysorbate 20, that's a fragrance, functional ingredient. Olaf 20, that's a cleanser, functional ingredient. Disodium EDTA, that's a stabilizer. Benzalkonium chloride, that is, I believe, a preservative. Panthenol, that also improves hydration. So you guys, this little toner, Walmart brand, non-comedogenic, won't cause harm to your skin, and has a freaking active ingredient in it. I mean, hello. This is great. I'm excited to try this. Won't cause you clog your pores and it has an active ingredient. There's like, you can't ask for more than that in a $4 product. Okay, I was having a hard time finding a good priced moisturizer and a good priced sunscreen standard at the $40 budget. But what I did find, which I believe I talked about, was a combo moisturizer sunscreen. It's ROC Multi Correction 5-in-1 Daily Moisturizer with 30 SPF. This was $20, but if we consider a good moisturizer and a good sunscreen as a combo, we have two products in one, so really they're $10 each, I think we're winning. Obviously, all the active ingredients are gonna be sunscreens, which is wonderful. We obviously need that because remember, we need to we need anti-aging everything. So the first thing is, oh wait, the ingredients are on the box. We've got water, propylene glycol, which is actually something that helps aid active ingredients to work. So if we got performance ingredients in there, that's going to help it. Glycerin, hydrator, performance ingredients, ding, 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 ding. Isononyl, isononinonate, say that three times fast, is an emollient. It just enhances the texture of the lotion, which we're fine with. Dimethicone, ooh, this is actually kind of like a healing product because it helps prevent you from getting things like eczema, which is really good. It's like, for your, it's like a skin barrier. So this is something that's really gonna help you with those outside elements, of, which is a really good benefit of a moisturizer. Stearith 2, that's an emulsifier. It's gonna help spread. What I see as the main moisturizer in here is shea butter. And shea butter is a non-comedogenic moisturizer. You guys, do a ball. Okay, we're gonna add up all the products and see how much everything costs. Cleansers, 364. Moisturizer, 622. Toners, 394. And the moisturizer and sunscreen combination is $20.50. $34.30, baby. You guys, under $40 and you can find skincare that will actually yield you some benefits. Let me go change my shirt and then we're gonna use the products. I'm really excited. We're gonna try all the products that I got at Walmart and just like see how they feel on our skin. We're gonna try this, the deep cleaning facial cleanser. I'm just gonna put like 
a pump. It feels good. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. And remember, we're going to massage it in for like at least 60 seconds. It feels really nice. My face feels very clean. I don't feel like there's any like residue on there or anything. I don't feel red. I don't feel irritated. Looking good. Okay, so let's go in with the, with the Neutrogena product and see how it's gonna go. So I'm just pea size, adding a little water just to get a lather. Okay, I can feel a physical exfoliant immediately. Definitely already tingling my skin. So that means we've got active ingredients, which is really great. That's what we want. It's the whole point of this. It also smells really good. It feels really light. I can feel like a light scrub, but it's more of a chemical exfoliant. It's more about the tingle. I'll focus on my chin a lot because that is where my biggest problem areas are. Mmm, wow. I I am like really surprised. I can feel a huge difference in my skin. I did not exfoliate this morning or last night. I've actually been giving my skin a little bit of a break because it's been feeling sensitive because I'm pregnant. Oh, so soft. This is great, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, Walmart. All right. Next, we're going to do the alcohol free facial toner. I usually like one that sprays. This is okay. It smells good. Okay. I have no stinging, no sensitivity. My skin is not getting red. Okay. I am having no problems with this. Why not? This was the last thing that I picked up, remember? It's the, um, it's the five-in-one. Now it's a moisturizer, but it's also a face sunscreen. A little bit goes a long way. You just gotta massage it in. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, it's like little puppies licking my face. Oh my God. Mm. I feel like I look like I'm glowing. This is a nice product. I'm, I'm into this. This is great. I'm most impressed by this. This was this was a really good find, you guys. I would definitely, I would highly recommend this. Okay, guys, there you have it. It just goes to show that, you know, through all the crap that they have, you can find affordable skincare. You don't have to spend $60 on a cleanser to find things with an active ingredient. I am thoroughly happy with these. I am going to continue to use them. I encourage all of you to be detectives and estheticians when you go into the store and know that you can find active ingredients. I am going to make a list in the details below of different comedogenic ingredients and what different functional and performance ingredients exist so you can know what to look for in the future. Um, so if you like, uh, please subscribe and if you'd like to see anything else or you have questions about ingredients, please write them in the comments and let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. Ooh.